Welcome to Show Up and Glow. My name is Jalen. This is my cozy corner, a space created just for you to tune in and chill out. If this interests you, I invite you to find some headphones, a quiet space, and join me for a calming and comforting experience. If this is not for you, that is okay. I appreciate you stopping by. As you notice yourself enjoying your stay, please be sure to like and subscribe for more of this calm and cozy vibe. Now let's get freaking started. Today, oh boy, today we have a very special vintage surprise find, I will say. Um... I don't, I don't even know how to tease it up other than it's a collectible. I had completely forgot this existed in my world until recently. And I opened it very briefly and then shut it and I was like, I have to take this to the Cozy Corner crew. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here... All I ask, I ask one thing, every video, is that you just calm down with me for just a little bit of time. That's it. Ideally, I would want you in a very comfortable position, either lying down or sitting somewhere that's comfortable for you, and uh, just focus on the cozy corner, the sound of my voice, the vibes, and just relax. So, I think before we get into it today, I definitely wanna do like a little bit of stretch, and these are like stretches that I ask that you follow along. Okay, fine, I guess I'm asking like two things of you today. Oh my gosh. If you're a regular here, you know the power of stretching, and you know how much I love doing just simple stretches right here with you while I sit in my chair and you're at home. Or wherever you're watching this video today, you could be on an airplane for all I know. You could be sitting by a beach. You could be on a train. <laughs> Who knows where you're at today? If you would like to tell me, you can leave me a comment below and let me know where you're watching this today. I'm going to hear it. Where are you finding a cozy moment today? Okay, so let's do a nice quick stretch. Even that just feels nice, like just like opening up your arms down low and like stretching through your fingertips. It's like stretching my shoulders. Okay. So wherever you're at, if you'd like to join along, great. You're going to feel awesome afterwards. Um, let's start with a nice little neck tilt, shall we? Okay. So wherever you're at, we're just going to tilt to the side just a little bit. Make sure you can feel the stretch in your neck. Let's hold here. Take a moment to calm down and settle in. Your girl got a little excited about what we're, what we're doing today. So let's just take a moment, settle. And gently back to center. Already feel it. Now to the other side. And pause. And back to center. And pause. Love it. Let's just do one arm stretch. So, cross one arm. Cross your body. Gently pull it back toward your body and relax your body and be still in your body. Fantastic. Undo that and pause for a moment. And 
And take your other one and cross it. Pull it back. Take some nice gentle breaths. And release that one and pause. That is just so nice. Stretching is just the best thing in the world. I wish I had a contraption that would just stretch my body in the comfort of the cozy corner and I could just sit or lay there and it would just stretch everything out. Okay, so now that you're settled in and you're feeling cozier, um, I wanted to explore something with you that, like I said, I completely forgot about, but the moment I saw it, I um, had just this flood of nostalgia rush back and this sense of joy and excitement and like oh my gosh there you are where have you been like the little the little me inside just like lit up because at one point in my life this was one of my favorite things and it was just so lovely so I wanted to share this with you today my parents have been going through um, my childhood home, cleaning things out and discovering things really. So this was one that they discovered. I have no idea where they found this, but I'm so thankful that it was still in their home. Cause you know, sometimes it's important to feel that joy and excitement bubble up again that you once had as a kid. Um, for those of you who are new here or um, have never heard this, my dad used to work for Marvel Comics in the 90s. Yes, the Marvel Comics in the 90s. And with that meant we got a lot of cool, cool things. Comic books, cards, stickers, posters, autographs, toys, t-shirts, hats, jackets, like all the marble swag. I mean, it was really cool. It was really, really cool. We still have so much of it today and it kind of, you know, trickles into the cozy corner with my pops. It's a little, little ode to my childhood having collectibles and figurines and stuff. So something that uh, Marvel Comics used to have also was Barbie and Western Barbies over here. I love, I love me Barbie. I've always have. I always will. Um, so, this, I think, came from during that time. Because there, I have no idea how I would have gotten this unless it was like a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. So, I don't even remember how this came into my life. But, um, let's explore it, shall we? So. Even the sounds of it are kind of... Funky. Look at that, guys. That colorfulness that just graced your screen. It's like this um, big giant binder. Kind of this plasticky material. It's in really good shape. I mean, look at the handles. Like, the handles aren't dirty or frayed. There's a little bit of stuff here a little bit of like I don't, know, I don't even know what that could be it's like maybe I stuck something on it or I drew on it I mean it's dense that is a dense binder so as you can tell it's giving Barbie Side. It is pages upon pages upon pages of these Barbie 
collectible cards? Y'all. All the way to the back. I, like I said, have no idea how this came into my possession. But I loved it as a kid. So, I thought we would explore some of the Barbie cards because on every single Barbie card is a story on the back. Okay, so the first card says Barbie 1959. And then the final card in the back that I have says Barbie 1989. So right off the bat, and these are in pristine condition. Even as a kid, I was like OCD about this stuff. I have never <laughs> taken these out of their plastic things. like. I'm like feeling like I'm breaking my own rules or something, but iconic, iconic Barbie with the bathing suit, Margot Robbie, Barbie movie, the beginning, all of the things, Barbie, 1959, each card looks like this on the back with a little story. So let's explore some of these Barbie cards today. I mean, Take a trip down memory lane. Um, I don't know what we're gonna find. This is this is all new for me. Oh boy. Some people just have the loudest, noisiest cars. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Not me. Mm -mm. Okay. So it says on the back. There's two sections. One says the top one says. Fashion Facts First Barbie Doll The first Barbie doll makes her debut dressed in a black and white striped swimsuit, gold hoop earrings, and open toe high heel shoes. Her silky saran her silky saran hair is styled in a carefree ponytail with curly bangs and her bright red lips match her individually painted fingernails and toes. She has a solid plastic body and comes with her very own pedestal stand. Barbie facts. Does this blonde Barbie doll have more fun? In 1959, Barbie is either a blonde or a brunette. One and blondes outnumber brunettes two to one. She comes with sunglasses too. And, oh, there's three facts on here. And the final is a fun fact. Alaska is our 49th state, and the U.S. flag gets a 49th star. 1959. And down here in the, in the very, very small fine print, it says 1990. So these cards were produced in 1990, and this says first edition number one, printed in the U.S. This were by Mattel. Y'all. Should I treat these cards like oracle cards? Like we could pull some Barbie cards and be like, oh, okay, let's see. Uh, your fun fact for your reading today is Alaska is the 49th state. What does Alaska mean to you? Did you know blondes have more fun than brunettes? If you're a brunette, go dye your hair. Nah, I won't do that. Okay, so now let's see. Let's flip through. What other fun ones can I find? Oh, look, there's so many, look. This one was on the Barbie red carpet with Margot Robbie. It's in the Barbie book right now, guys. There's a Barbie book that is out of all her fashions from the world tour, which ya girl followed hardcore. This one was on the Barbie tour. Remember this one? Let's read about this one. This one was really pretty. 
solo in the spotlight. Barbie is a star performer in her strapless, glittery black sheath gown with its tulle flounce and decorative red rose, black opera length gloves, open toe heels, and three strand beaded necklace enhance her elegant fashion look. And this dramatic soloist carries a flowering pink chiffon scarf as she stands before her telescoping microphone to sing her favorite torch songs. What is a torch song? What is a torch song? A Barbie fact. Her parents, George and Margaret Roberts, were married in San Francisco, but Barbie grew up in Willows, Michigan. And if you've seen the Barbie movie or you know Barbie history, Barbie was a real person. She was a real person, but she wasn't like this person, but she was created after a person. Um, and the fun fact on this one is, Wilma Rudolph, America's fastest female sprinter, wins three track and field gold medals at the Summer Olympics in Rome. Congratulations. Congratulations, Wilma. This one was on the Barbie red carpet. Not my favorite look. It wasn't my favorite out of all of hers. This is just so fun. I'm gonna have to hold. Let's fast forward a decade. I don't wanna look at the 50s anymore. I want to see if there's any in here that are from the Barbie movie. Like if they copied more looks. Like the palazzo pants. Like can I find the pink palazzo pants? <gasps> Y'all look. We got some cowboy Barbies. Look at this. I don't even know if this is fitting all in the in the screen right now. Take a look at all these different Barbies. Look at this. All these Barbies had a photo shoot. Westward Ho. Mm, don't like that. Don't like, don't like how they said that, but I guess like, Westward Ho! Like, let's move westward or forward. Barbie is prairie pretty in her calico print dress. This is a navy, red, tan, and white western style with long sleeves and a ruffled hem trimmed with lace. Dress cuffs, belt, and fringe trimmed vest all have the look of suede. Her tan Stetson style hat has a braid band and Barbie wears dark brown western style boots. <laughs> yes, she does. Giddy up. Barbie facts. The original Westward Ho, it's not aging well, has a chocolate brown Stetson style hat with leather look band and feathers. Here, Barbie wears a hat from the fashion Western Elegance. Hmm. Fun fact. Popular Texas-themed TV show Dallas wins the highest Nelson's rating for the second year in a row. 1981, folks. This is a great dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Look, I know y'all saw this one everywhere. Look, look. Um, that's Margot Robbie. As this is Barbie dressing up as Margot Robbie. Yep, we all saw this one. Barbie facts. This Barbie style transforms. Remove her jacket and reverse her skirt to dress her in a sparkly pink dinner fashion with a bouffant net skirt. She comes with a change of shoes too. Fun fact for this year. Good grief. Charlie Brown and his peanut friends are 35. Charlie Brown turned 35 in 1985. Why did I think Charlie Brown was like born in the 90s or something? I don't know. Oh wow, take a look at this one. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, this one's called Magic Moves, Barbie. Fun. Oh, fun fact, here we go. Top five girls' names in the US in 1986. Jessica, Sarah, Amanda, Ashley, and Jennifer. Oh, now we're getting to the late 80s. Take a look at this page. Pick out your favorite Barbie style. Which one's your favorite? Which one do you think would be my favorite? Um, this one. Yeah. Yeah, that one. And maybe Butterfly Barbie. I guess as a kid I just liked to look at these. Like I said, they're in perfect condition. I definitely did not play with these. I did not take them out of this protective sleeve. I think I just liked admiring them. And for me, Barbie was always just the fashion. You know, I loved her clothes. I That worked on me as a kid. And I just have such a fondness for the doll. It never did the negative that it can do to some people or that it did to some people. I under abs absolutely understand how and why that happened. And um, I praise Barbie for changing with the times. You know, they didn't just dig their heels in and say, they didn't just dig their Barbie heels in and be like, no, we're not changing. This is how it's always been done. They took the feedback and the criticisms and made it more inclusive. And I absolutely love that. And I love that that was also reflected in the Barbie movie. It's reflected in Barbies on the shelf right now. And while this book is, you know, it's, it's dated, it's the early Barbies when that, that wasn't a thing. I still respect what they were trying to do with Barbie because as a little girl, I guess I just really learned that I loved fashion through Barbie and I loved clothes and dressing up and you know, it never made me feel like it was only for toys. It made me feel like I could look like that one day or dress like that one day. So exploring this gigantic book with you today, just brought back all those great nostalgia vibes and I think that is important so whether you have things from your childhood still or you don't have anything from your childhood anymore I encourage you to find something that used to light you up as a kid and to incorporate that or try that 
in your present day. Sometimes that's rollerblading or skating, jumping on a trampoline, taking a walk outside, eating a certain food you loved as a kid. Maybe your body doesn't like it too much as an older kid, but you know, you can still have a Coke float or something and get that same vibe. You know, this week try to find something or be grateful for the things that you have that do remind you of your childhood. And just give a little love to, you know, the younger you inside of you. Because they're always there. They really are. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I really enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane with you. I'll see you again real soon.